And so we need to look seriously at ourselves. Two years ago, and I don't know what came out of this, a Buddhist monk in Japan accepted Islam. And when a leader accepts Islam in that part of the world, all of his followers go with him. Whatever the leaders do, they, they move in Jamaat. They had to put this brother underground. Islam is the second largest religion in Japan. If the Japanese accept Islam, they're going to turn us around. As our brother has said, we won't be late for any meetings that the Japanese are in charge of us. <laughs> We're going to be on time. Not uh, Florida time, or colored people's time, or Muslim time, or Shad of A, I don't know what it is you're going to call it. This funny kind of time where we're late, and I'm talking to myself too. The Japanese will get us together. And so we expect the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we need to try to do something with ourselves. Because Allah has clearly told us, In Allah, la yughayiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change that which is in themselves. He will not change our condition. And so our hearts, we got to start inside. I found this out in Ramadan. We formed a big uh, gathering of all the leaders. Ramadan was coming. And instead of saying the month of Ramadan, mashallah, we're saying, oh no. Another month, man, two Eids. You have that same problem here? Two Eids and, oh, Ramadan. What, what is this, man? Everybody's angry because Ramadan's coming. Okay, so we formed a meeting, we sat down, and we said, is the problem ikhtilaf al mataliq Is it difference in the horizons? No. The problem really was ikhtilaf al qulub It was the difference in the hearts. That's what the real problem is. People are hiding behind fiqh, hiding behind their school of thought. When the fuqaha, a imma of Islam, were teachers and students of each other, they were not like different religions. And the fiqh is easy if you sit down and, and, and come to a decision. We make it difficult. And so we need to clear up our hearts.